At first glance, they look something in between a bat, a squirrel, and a kite, but they're none of these things. They actually belong to their own unique order known as Demoptera, which translates literally to skin, wing. Their most distinctive feature is their patagium, which is a gliding membrane, a membrane of skin, that stretches from their neck all the way to the ends of their extremities to the back of their tail. And using this patagium, they are able to glide very effectively within the tropical forest that they inhabit and retain a high degree of control. Most of the time you would see them gliding maybe between 40 and 60 meters, or well, depends on where they are, but journeys have been reported up to 150. And using this mode of transportation, uh, Kalugos are able to very effectively avoid the dangers of the forest floor while retaining access to the safety and food found in their canopy. Wow, I didn't even know Kalugos existed. Did you? Let us know in the comments down below. And in the meantime, if you want more Kalugos content, then glide on over to this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content from the Natural History Museum.